Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to Res Life. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, this video is just a couple of problems we have with a uh, transfer case and a transmission. So just another busy week. Yes. It's a busy couple of days. Oh, so days. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoy the video. Good morning you guys. We had a one hour late start. So we're up here at GIMC. My member has an appointment this morning. So <laughs> nothing bad. Just a quick in and out and then we're gonna I don't know what we're gonna do. I gotta go to work today, but our day is a little different now, so we will figure it out. <laughs> oh man, I really like this clip you got on today. Thank you. It looks cool with your curly hair like that. After a little bit of a crazy morning, I dropped Mama Bear and Michael back off at the house. And Michael ended up staying in the truck because this morning when we were dropping Jackie off, the truck, of course, it's extremely muddy. When I parked to drop Jackson off, I parked in a bad spot and when Michael got out to let his brother off, he slipped a little bit and then he leaned on the truck and his whole leg got muddy again, like really bad muddy. So I didn't want to send him to school with his pants like that. And I couldn't bring him back right away because it was a one hour late start this morning and we had Mama Bear's appointment. So we went and got that taken care of and then we uh, ran to the north side, took care of a couple of things up there. We put in some gas, made it back to the house. The road is super muddy still. And now I took off from the house. I'm gonna head back into town. I'm gonna go to the shop for a bit and then I'm gonna pick up Jackson and Draven whenever that needs to be done. So I'm headed back into Gallup right now. I gotta figure out what's wrong with this brake switch. Cool. I took out from the shop. I came down here to the west side. I'm picking up Jackson now. Or I'm heading to the school right now. I got a lot done today at the shop. I was only there for a little bit, like an hour and a half, but I got the brake lights to work. I got the hazards to work, the four ways to work. I've got everything in the dash to work and pretty much Everything on the truck is working except the horn and I have a problem with the hazard switch after I fixed the brake lights The problem I was having is that there is uh, an emergency flasher switch on the dash for the Ford and then there's also an Emergency flasher switch on the steering wheel. It's a modern steering wheel made for classic trucks So I need to eliminate the hazard switch on that one altogether and then uh, run straight from the indicator switch in the steering wheel to the flasher and then to the brake switch and to the emergency switch on the dashboard. So that's what I gotta do tomorrow. Other than that, I just have to figure out the horn still, which is not a problem. I just gotta take the steering wheel off. And I was in the process of looming everything up, taping all the ends, uh, wrapping it with the nylon cord covers and pretty much just all around cleaning up the wiring and stuffing them back in the dash so that whenever I have to go back into it again in the future, it's more easily accessible. I'm getting to the school now, so I'm gonna sign this dude out here in a minute. Hello. I just picked up Jackson. We're gonna head across and pick up Draven now. A Little bit chilly today. This little breeze makes it cold. <laughs> How was school today, bro? Good. I am driving at Jackson. Hi. Hey. Wow, guys. Something happened to the Jeep. I had to pull over and I'm going to check it real quick and see what's going on. But there was a pretty bad vibration from underneath the truck. Kind of sucks. We're on the freeway right now. We're going to go help our friend Ray. He needed some help with his truck and I picked up the boys. Our bro Ray, he always helps us whenever we need help and he needs some help with his ride. So I was just gonna try to go over there and help him. But let me see what's going on with this Jeep right now. We got down here to the gas station. We got off the freeway and we made it to the speedway. It started vibrating really bad on the freeway. So we pulled over and I checked it and uh, the transfer case was all smoking. So it cooled down a bit, 
I shook a few things, make sure nothing was going to fall off on the freeway. And since it didn't, I drove it down here the rest of the way. So we're parked over here at Speedway on the east side of Gallup. And our bro Ray, the one that I was going to go check on his truck, he got his truck going. So he's going to bring me something to lay on because this parking lot is all full of puddles. And I'm going to crawl into here and make sure that the transfer case is going to make it back to the house before we drive all the way back across town to the west side. Ray showed up and he brought me something to lay on. So I'm gonna get in here and check this thing. You can see that something's going on because that's pretty shiny. We didn't make it all the way to our bro Ray's house, but we made it like 90% of the way there. We got right through the hog back on the freeway and the transfer case started acting up really bad. And since we've got this Jeep running, we've been hearing the noise and I knew something was going on just didn't get a chance to check it out that good and I drained and refilled the transfer case the other day less than a week ago so um, I know there's fluid in it but the dryer shaft started vibrating really bad and I'm pretty sure it wasn't because there's mud on it so we're gonna cruise through town we're gonna head back to the house and then uh, whenever it really cools down I'll check the transfer case so I got back into the dollar store and the seat's broken in the truck. Right here. These guys were asking how that happened. I said probably too much four-wheeling, but Draven said it was probably too many fry breads. Seems like our transfer case is still working. <laughs> Just needed to cool down, I guess. We finally made it back to the mama bear. <laughs> Where did you guys go? We went on an adventure. Feels good to be back at the house. Time to eat. This is what's for dinner tonight, you guys. Nice comfort food. After a long, cold day like today, I was about to bust out the sandwich bread, you guys. I so didn't want to ask Mama for bread because if she didn't make any, I didn't want to ask her to make some. But she's awesome. She already made some. Look at this, guys. Mm. Mama's having some sweet potatoes for dinner. So good. It smells so awesome. Mmm. extra good mm. it's gonna be extra hot that's almost Ooh, almost the twice baked it's dripping. It's almost dripped on me. she uh she did one session of it so it was cooked for one session normally she'll uh, bake them like that take it out mix it all up with the uh the fun stuff and then put it back in the skin and then re reheat it with the marshmallow toasted this one was partial just toasted <laughs> There's Michael. <laughs> Looks kind of creepy out here, you guys. I haven't turned the carport light on, and the moon looks wild. What is it, bro? Definitely looks crazy out here. Morning, Daisy. Right away, she's annoying her brother. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. Today's Friday. We've been up for a bit, but it's because we have a weather delay, and we've just been hanging out. Well, me and Mama have been hanging out. The boys, we just woke them up the whole round of getting them ready and stuff. So we had a 
one hour late start, which is normal. And then we had a one hour weather delay on top of that. So we're getting ready to go to school now. I'm going to head to the shop and I'll be there for the afternoon until I pick these dudes up, hopefully. Awesome. And I think we have dinner stuff. So again, all you have to do is bring back something to drink. Nice. Okay. So in the last five minutes, <laughs> Since I said I was going to go to the shop today, and I said hopefully, and then I thought, I probably shouldn't say hopefully. My mom texted me and said that my sister's clutch went out on her truck and they had to leave it at Burger King last night. So I'm going to go figure out how I can get it to my mom's house or back here. If I get it here, I can get the transmission out and get the clutch started on. The clutch hasn't come in yet. Uh, if I get it back to my mom's house, that'll be easier because it's not muddy to my mom's house. Which is the reason why, <laughs> for a long time, in the first, like, hundred episodes, uh, Mama Bear was driving and everybody was wondering why she was driving better through the mud than I was. It's paved all the way to my mom's driveway. Mm -hmm. When I started driving, I never had to deal with mud. I learned how to drive on ice, through snow, and I don't know what you'd call it, the Baja <laughs> stuff. The uh, res driving through the boonies. <laughs> But Mama Bear knew how to drive in the mud because she'd be driving up here every year. So I got to probably take it to my mom's house. Not sure. I guess I'm going to go figure it out. But this is normally one of the times when I would really, really depend on Mama Bear. And we never really knew throughout my day how much like she really adds to what we do together as a team. Like We always knew, but times like this it really shows up and it's like man if I had a driver like my cousin's car has been outside since I got done with it and it's because I don't have a driver to either take the jeep in for me or to drive the car and then I bring them back home same situation here normally we would go over there mama bear would drive the jeep I would drive that truck without a clutch back to my mom's house but this turns into a problem because now I got to figure out a trailer and a few other things before I even uh, attempt to take that out there I'm going to see how the day unfolds. I got to take the boys to school right now. This morning we got down the road and that white car that was stuck in the mud, that was the same one that we had pushed up the hill in the snow. And Pam's aunt was there. Well, I'm not sure if it was her aunt, but her aunt's truck was down there. So I'm pretty sure Pam's cousins were over there helping out or Pam's nephews. I'm pretty sure they were over there helping out. I know it would have been easy for us to just turn around and push them up the hill, but I had to get these boys to school. Now that everybody's at school, I'm going to go check on my sister's truck, which is over on the north side. And my mom said the keys are at the house. So, I got to drive out to Rock Springs, north of Gallup, get the keys, come back into Gallup, see if I can drive it out without the clutch, or see what I need to do to get that truck back to my mom's house. And then I'll go to work for the remainder of the day until I pick the boys up. Normally, I'd cross right here if I'm heading to the north side, but today I will go around. And there's my sister's truck. Curly, these puppies are. Oh, it's all muddy. Man, these are some curly looking dogs. Oh, you guys are awesome, man.
I don't know if you guys will remember this truck, but from a few episodes back, we drove to Louisiana and we changed out the carrier bearing on this thing. And then also, this is the one that we were driving on in Albuquerque and we had to build a shackle for the leaf spring. Right now, I'm told the clutch is out, so I'm gonna check it and see what is going on with this. Feels like there's good pressure on the clutch pedal. So it seems like the pressure plate is good and the fluid is good. I think it really might just be the clutch disc. I'm gonna start it and see what's up. I'm gonna take this e-brake off first. First gear, second gear, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. The truck is not moving. Put it in first without touching the clutch, truck's not moving. When I push the clutch in, it feels like the clutch is good, but it feels like nothing I do is affecting the engine. You can't hear the RPMs change or anything. This is acting weird. That is the carrier bearing we fixed. It doesn't look like anything is leaking from the back of this, but it definitely looks like there's a lot of stuff leaking from the front. I figured my brain will work better if I get some food. I need to get a look at the transmission on the inside and see why when I move the shifter nothing's happening. So I will start with, I'm assuming it's a screw, 7mm or it's a 10mm bolt. Looks like a 10mm bolt. Okay, I got the boot and the shifter off and as I look down in here, Right into there. That's the bottom of the transmission. That's bone dry. Okay, so the 2-2 two -two with the uh, five-speed takes synchro mesh oil. So Looks like everything's about 10 bucks a quart. This one is 10.99 a quart. And for the S10s, this is the proper one to use. Synchro mesh manual transmission fluid. I got three quarts of synchro mesh fluid for the transmission. I'm gonna go head back down there right now and see if it works. If not, then I'll figure out a trailer situation because I don't have another driver with me. Well, that didn't work. The transmission does sound a lot healthier with fluid in it, but it still was not moving. I need a trailer to get the truck back to my mom's house. And the trailer from the shop is out in Laguna right now, picking up a van. I went out to go say what's up to my bro Gene for a little bit, and just kind of sat for a little while. I, I was kind of hoping I wasn't gonna be laying in the parking lot today, but that's how it went, and uh, I gotta go pick the boys up now, so I'm gonna go pick up the boys and I will pick them up and if the trailer shows up before that, we'll pick up the trailer, pick up the truck and do all the stuff before we go home. But we shall see in the next half an hour or so. I'm gonna go sign this kid out and head across. I have the Jackson. Hello. We're heading across now. Me and Jackson are waiting over here to mid school and yeah. Draven has hopped in. Hi. <laughs> I don't know why Draven acting shy right now. But we three are waiting for Michael. He's hanging out right here with his friend. I think they're waiting for her bus to show up and then he's going to jump in.
Alright, hold on. I think he's ready to go now, guys. What do you think? Man, you guys, it seemed like I had such a crazy day, and it automatically started because I was already telling myself this morning, I don't want to be laying in any wet parking lots today. <laughs> I was hoping to go to the shop where it's climate controlled and have power tools. But all week, of course, you're saying if you want it, it's not going to happen. Hmm. I'm waiting for word on the trailer. It is still on its way back from Laguna. We just made it back to the house, and... Mama Bear was working on her nails. Check it out, guys. Okay? Ooh, I like it's that. Chrome. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wow, Mama Bear. <laughs> Look at these things, bro. Yeah, they're chrome. I love it. It's the chrome that you brought me. I'm finally able to use it. That's so cool. <laughs> Nice, I love it. The little stone is cool too. In each oh, one yeah. of the stars. Yeah. You gotta fill it up though. Thanks for filling up the water for Peepaw like he asked. Love you, Jackie. Yeah. Draven's little pup is super hungry. She's like, bro, give me another baloney. Well, guys, I have not got anywhere in the trailer, so I'm going to have to find somebody to steer this thing while I just pull it with a strap back to my mom's house out in Rock Springs. So I'm going to go figure that out right now. I'm going to call my mom, see if my brother's home. If he's home, I got to swing around that way and pick him up. If not, I got to see which one of my friends are cool enough to do that. <laughs> nice. This looks pretty cool out here. As I was going down the road, I got a call about the trailer, so I'm gonna go by the shop and see what's up with that. The cloud structure today looks pretty awesome. How much room on the other side? Is it good? Oh, you're good. Okay. It's a little tiny. Trip. Yeah. <laughs> We've got it all loaded up and we're gonna take it back to the shop right now. We just gotta rent to AutoZone for a couple of things, so I am keeping an eye on this while the parts get bought. <laughs> we're gonna take it back to the shop. I'm gonna get on the lift sometime this weekend and we'll get that transmission taken out of there and see what we can figure out. Well, We've got the truck on the trailer still, and it's outside. I gotta come back tomorrow morning, I guess. My weekend is full already. I'll be back in the morning so I can work on this truck. I made it back to the Mama Bear, you guys. Chicken for dinner. So I'm gonna get ready to eat here in a second. I'm just trying to get into more comfortable clothes and wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> What the holy cow, air fried chicken. Well, it was fried by grandma, and I wanted to do air fried. 
Oh, that looks freaking delicious. Whoa. Man, this looks so good. All right, you guys. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking it out. Thanks for all the love and support, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Y'all have an awesome rest of your day.